Welcome to Top Dog Country Club. I'm Jean Stelton, creator, owner, and operator. Here at Top Dog, it's all about the dogs. They're the number one priority in every decision we make. Our goal is to provide you peace of mind when you travel, knowing your dogs are safe, happy, and having the vacation of a lifetime. I'm excited to show you our club. Come on, let's take a tour. Top Dog Country Club was the first facility of its kind and is still very unique. From our location, to how we work with the dogs, our staffing, and the passion and professionalism with which we run this awesome vacation club for dogs. We have been featured on Discovery Channel's Animal Planet, NBC's Today Show, and in the New York Times, a three-page spread, front page of the business section on a Sunday. From there, the story went worldwide. The passion behind Top Dog is my original four Shelties. I always had a house and dog sitter, but kenneled them once in 1990 when a house sitter backed out, and it was a really negative experience. I started developing the idea for Top Dog, a great place for dogs to vacation that would be nothing like a kennel. Top Dog Country Club is really like a club med vacation for dogs with the service and accommodations of a Marriott Hotel. I'm a former vice president and 14-year veteran with Marriott Hotels, combining my passion in life with my profession. I opened Top Dog October 14th of 2000, and we draw clients from all over the metro, greater Minnesota, and some coming from as far as New York, Colorado, Arizona, Missouri, and Canada to vacation here. We even have a client who flies his dogs on his private jet from Chicago so they can stay with us when he travels. Our clients love Top Dog because their dogs can't wait to get here and oftentimes they hesitate to go home. I smile when clients tell me that the minute they pull out the bag that they use when packing for a Top Dog vacation, the dogs start jumping and barking with excitement, or that they start screaming and barking when the car turns onto Vega Avenue. The thrill of arriving at their favorite vacation club. I have built a place that does not look, feel, smell, act, or sound like any kennel. My home is located next door, about 100 yards away, and the security systems are tied together. There is someone on the property 24 hours each day. My passion for dogs began at age 8, when I rescued my first. I have owned and cared for dogs since 1970, and as of 2018, I have had 29 plus of my own. I was a founding board member of Minnesota Sheltie Rescue in 2001 and have fostered 161 dogs from then until now. Many that were seniors and some with terminal health issues that lived the last chapters of life with me and enjoying the Top Dog Country Club experience. They left this world in my arms knowing that they were loved and their lives were worth saving. My family has grown over the years, and I am so blessed that I get to spend every day pursuing my passion for dogs. Dogs are my kids, they're my work, they're my charity, they're my passion. Giving back has always been important, and 10% of Top Dog Country Club profits are donated to Top Dog Foundation, a nonprofit that I formed for the rescue and care of senior dogs that have no other options and are scheduled for expiration. Currently, Top Dog Foundation rescues senior dogs provides for their medical needs and matches them with senior people that would love a companion. I believe we are saving two lives, the dog and the person, by helping them find one another. Future plans are for a sanctuary, which will be a permanent home for elder pups that have been left behind when an owner passes or is moved to assisted living, or senior dogs that have been abandoned and have been deemed unadoptable simply due to age and health. Top Dog sits on 39 acres of wooded property just 20 minutes west of the Lake Minnetonka area, outside New Germany. This means we have plenty of space for dogs to be outdoors and play in the fresh air and among nature, without the constraints and the rules of the city. The Top Dog difference is so worth the drive. And for those that want the convenience, we have a pickup and delivery service. The building is 6,100 square feet. The flooring is stone with in-floor hot water heat and is zoned in three different areas, so we keep it warmer for the little dogs and a bit cooler for the big dogs. Top Dog is fully air conditioned and air purified. The lighting is incandescent throughout. The music is piped in 24 hours a day for the dogs. There are speakers in every bay of suites. I have focused all of these little details that provide a calming and soothing environment. Going above and beyond and providing value has always been very important to me. We have an all-adult staff that includes vet techs, groomers, trainers, and others that are very passionate about dogs. We maintain a staff-to-dog ratio of one staff for every five to eight dogs, which is unheard of in this business. 
We take a very custom approach to each dog's stay, and we have dogs from eight weeks of age to 19 years that stay with us. We have a special schedule just for young puppies and more senior guests, and can customize their day according to their needs and your wishes. At Top Dog, we have more than 85,000 hours of pack behavior experience. We are in group play with the dogs from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. each day, so they enjoy five to six hours of run time, ball time, swim time, and the staff are actively working with them, so they also receive five to six hours of social training every day. Information is important here, and we have two staff meetings every day, one just before we go out to play, and a second when we come in from play, where we discuss the dogs, any concerns, health issues, behavior challenges, and then can develop a plan to monitor, treat, or work with the dogs, and can make adjustments to the playgroups and the schedule accordingly. Another of my passions is photography, and I love to capture the dogs enjoying their vacations. We take photos several days each week, and they are posted on Facebook for clients to view. Let's go take a tour of the suites and watch the dogs in action. This is Kiwi's Playroom. If we have inclement weather, we can do indoor play, or on really cold winter days, the little dogs will play inside. These are daycare suites, where dogs rest before and after play until their owners pick them up. We also use these for staff dogs when they come to work, and can use them in emergencies for overflow for overnight stays. They are large enough to fit a Great Dane comfortably. The door on the far right leads to a full kitchen where we bake fresh biscuits in the afternoons for yappy hour. Apple cinnamon oatmeal is the favorite and the smell of fresh baked goods fills the air. These are the suites the dogs stay in. They are all private with heated floors, fully air conditioned, air purified, soft lighting, and music 24 hours. Guests sleep on custom forged wrought iron bed frames with upholstered mattresses. We have family suites for multiple pup households. Ceilings are nine feet tall and it is all open air above six feet. There are windows in many of the suites. Each bay of suites has a full view glass door that leads to the play yards. Unlike most boarding facilities, Top Dog is a pretty quiet place. We do not have dogs barking 24 hours a day. You can imagine after five and a half hours of play each day, these dogs are exhausted and they crash, getting ready to play again tomorrow. There are two times each day when it is noisy, 6 a.m. because they have to potty, and 8.45 when it's time to go play. Their body clocks get on our schedule pretty quickly and they know when playtime is close and they're certainly not shy about reminding us that they're ready. At night, it's great. You can hear a pin drop in this building. They are happy and exhausted, ready to sleep and rest up for more fun tomorrow. Top Dog has 24,000 square feet of outdoor play yards. Three are AstroTurf as a base so the dogs don't get dirty and we can be outside when it rains or it snows. We actually clear the snow from these yards all winter long so that the dogs are playing on turf and not snow or ice pack. The large yard has a 34-foot heated swimming pool that is open April through November. We also have a senior dog garden with grass, trees, shrubs, umbrellas, so the dogs that can't be in group play can sunbathe and watch the birds and the butterflies. The dogs love swimming. We have life jackets and we are in the pool with them. The other yards have kiddie pools and during pool season, we do a yard switch at noon so that the labs and the goldens and all those water dogs can dry off a bit before coming in and laying down on their beds. That way, in the afternoon, the little guys have an opportunity to come over and swim and enjoy the pool. Our day starts at 6 a.m. sharp with morning potties. The dogs are taken out in groups of five or six into the yards to do their business. They get about 15 minutes in the morning just to run around and work off that morning energy. We bring them in and feed breakfast at seven. We have you bring your own food so we can maintain their diet while they're with us. It's much easier on their digestive systems. We do not charge for extra feeding, specially administering medicines, supplements, any of that. So we encourage you to bring whatever your pup is used to at home. After breakfast, we let their tummies settle an hour and a half before play, while we start our morning arrivals and departures, cleaning and get the play yards all set up. At 9 a.m. we head out for play and we are out here till three in the afternoon, so they average five to six hours of play daily. It's all supervised by adult staff. We are having fun throwing balls, wrestling and chasing and swimming with them. We're actively working with them to teach them good social behavior. The dogs are grouped for play by size, but more importantly, temperament. New dogs are always the first out in the morning and then one by one we bring out the rest of the dogs that have been playing together. That way it's not overwhelming for the new dogs to manage the group, we have timeouts for those who may get a bit too wild, 
We use gentle leaders and in some cases muzzles to work with dogs that are socially challenged. We have had great success in re-socializing dogs that did not succeed in other facilities, not because they're bad dogs, but because most facilities do not have the experience, the expertise, and the staffing levels to work with dogs and provide that social training. With more than 85,000 hours of pack behavior experience, we are prepared for most anything and know how to work with it. At Top Dog, the dogs leave happy and tired as a result of lots of fresh air, mental stimulation, and physical exercise, which is very different than most facilities that are primarily indoors, crowded, noisy, where the dogs may go home tired more due to stress. Playtime is sacred at Top Dog and we protect it at all costs, so during the summer heat, we actually rearrange our schedule. We still get out to play, but we rearrange the entire schedule to accommodate the dogs. So on those days we go out for potties at 6 a.m., we just stay out and play. And when the dogs get too warm, usually 11.30 or noon, we bring them in and we start our day with brunch instead of breakfast. After a long day of play, we come in and have yappy hour and fresh baked biscuits. And then our guests crawl up on these wonderful beds and take an afternoon nap. I mentioned that we have a very special program to customize the day for both puppies and elder dogs. They have additional potty breaks immediately after both meals. They are the first out when we arrive at five to six in the morning, and they're the very last out before we leave at night. We can also abbreviate their play and bring them in for a midday nap or meal. We work with dogs' special needs as well, including paralyzed dogs, diabetic dogs, blind, deaf, those that are post or pre-surgery, and we can perform their physical therapy exercises as needed. We feed dinner at five, while we complete evening arrivals and departures between four and seven. The rest of the evening is bathing, baths are complimentary with a seven plus day stay, grooming, massage, nature walks, and laundry, whatever else is on the schedule. Final outings for potty are between eight and nine at night. We then refresh their water, give them treats, and read bedtime stories before we tuck them in for the night. So the dogs have human and or dog interaction from 6 a.m. until nine, 9.30 at night, seven days a week. We're excited for you and your pups to experience what makes Top Dogs so very special. We look forward to your next vacation.